Happy Tuesday. Um, I am told that today marks the one year anniversary of these daily devotions. Uh, no one was thinking a year ago that they would still be going on. I certainly was not thinking a year ago that I would do these for an entire year. Um, it feels like we're nearing the end. Uh, you know, I, I hear fears of new strains from, you know, South Africa or whatever. Uh, but it seems like, even though the left and the right are fighting and spitting at each other, it, it seems like the vaccine rollout is working and the numbers are coming down and, and we're headed towards uh, reopening. So perhaps it's worth just a little bit of reflection on that. Uh, one of the books I've been using in my devotions the last couple months has been a book called Candles in the Dark, Faith, Hope, and Love in a Time of Pandemic. It's by Rowan Williams, who used to be the Archbishop of um, Canterbury, who I mentioned just this last weekend in the Friday or in the uh, Saturday podcast, 100 plus. So uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury is an Anglican position, so Episcopal Church here in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S., there was reasons not to call during the Revolutionary War the people who were Anglican were part of the Church of England. When you're going through a Revolutionary War against England, you don't want to be called members of the Church of England, and so they, the Episcopal Church uh, was started or was named. But I, I met Williams when I was on sabbatical uh, at Oxford. <laughs> now, don't be impressed. Uh, I am walking across campus and I become aware that there's a guy walking next to me who's pushing a shopping cart, a, gr a grocery cart. And he looks a little disheveled uh, and I just assume that it's a homeless guy. Uh, and then I look at him again and I realize, no, that's, that's the Archbishop of Canterbury. So uh, Rowan Williams is one of those academics. I mean, he's brilliant. He's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. He's been writing a book a year uh, on theology or culture or history or, you know, I, I picked up his, his book, his nonfiction book on Dostoevsky. I just could not access it. He's just too smart. But he's writing a book a year for 50 years. But he, he looks, I mean, he's sort of got a, a, an untrimmed beard and, you know, just a mass of hair that's not generally combed. So he looks like he could be homeless, except he's, he's the uh, leader of the Church of England. And he's, the shopping cart he was pushing was because he was uh, protesting hunger and he was uh, accepting donations for a food bank. And so he's pushing it across campus. So I, I put some money into the, uh, some British pounds into the shopping cart, grocery cart, and felt like that bought me an opportunity to ask him a few questions. And as I said, he's very, he's a bright boy. Uh, but he was, he's written this uh, set of devotions for the pandemic. It's, it's decent. Uh, I like some of them better than others. But uh, the one, Jeremiah, he reflects on Jeremiah 8.20. So Jeremiah, this is the same passage that talks about the balm of Gilead. And so there's this de depressive, like everything's going wrong. Is there no solution? So the balm is sort of, there, is there no comfort, no salve for the, for the, the struggles? And of course, we know, yes, there is going to be a solution. Jesus is the balm of Gilead. But uh, right before that, in Jeremiah 8.20, there's a line, and it, it just says, the summer has ended and we're not saved. <laughs> so he used that, writing last summer, to reflect, saying, okay, this is still going on. The summer has ended and we're not saved. Uh, and I think it's, it's worth just pausing and to say, okay, so the summer has ended uh, and we're not saved, or this has been going on for a year and it's still not over. What have I learned? And look, I, I, think, uh, I think it would be important for us to come away from this with a realization about how fragile life and Western life is. Uh, now, many, I mean, we can celebrate that lots of smart people went to work on this vaccine. And the people that I knew, uh, Abby, Abbott and Abby and other scientists who sort of knew about vaccines said, you know, this is not a done deal by any means. Uh, they seem to have, be the most skeptical that we could pull it off, but it got pulled off. And so there's lots to celebrate, but, but we should not miss that life is fragile. 
and that, uh, that a pandemic could happen and that even if it doesn't happen, right, we will all die. Uh, I, I, you know, I hope that's not new news for you, but we need to face our mortality. It is appointed to us you know, once to live, in, in, to, at, once to die and then to face judgment. And this life is shorter than we realize. There's other things that you could take away from this pandemic. I hope you take away from this pandemic. And my challenge to you today is to just reflect on what have you learned in the last year? What, is the, what are the good takeaways? Uh, what are the good insights to gain from the COVID pandemic this last year, all the things that have gone on this last year? There's your uh, devotional challenge for today. Have a good day.